Hi guys! Today I'm doing a video with Influencer. If you don't know what it is, it's down below in the description. It's pretty much you get free stuff to try um, as long as you do a review on it. <laughs> That's it. Um, and so today I was very shocked with what I got. This is a new product from Makeup Forever and it's a powder which is strange because they send you surveys to see what products you'd be right for. And in my surveys I always put like coverage wise, I like very sheer coverage, I like very glowy products. My skin is on the dry side, things cake, look dry all the time. Well, I got the HD Matte Velvet Powder Foundation. It says it's undetectable, one swipe coverage. It has 24 hour blurring, it mattifies and has comfortable, it has natural matte real skin finish, medium to full coverage and is a clean formula. Apparently there's like different ways that you can use it. So if you use the brush that it comes with, although the brush has two sides, it has like an angled brush and a powder brush. Um, if you do that, you have sheer coverage. If you use the sponge that's inside the box, you on the white side it's medium coverage or for touch up, touch ups and then the beige side of the sponge is full coverage now normally what i would do is just do the sheer coverage and call it a day because that's pretty much all of it everywhere um but for the sake of this video i'm gonna try all different ways in like different areas of my face so i have the shade 1n06 it's a cute little tin my first thought looked a little pink for me but i don't know maybe the lighting will be different it's hard to open Oh, it's not. I was trying to open it. There's a little button here that you push and it opens. It has a really good size mirror, which I really like. The color looks a little dark. So let's do the forehead with the powder brush, and then we're going to do each cheek with the powder. I don't have anything on my face, like no primer or anything. I literally did my skincare, oh, I don't even know, five hours ago. First, actually, let's do a swatch. It's so soft. Holy smokes. It is freaking soft. Let me a little warm i don't know that the color is really right for me it does feel dry it's soft but it feels dry like it's gonna make my face look dry i'm not gonna use the angled brush i'm gonna use this one it definitely kicks up some powder let's see let's push it in like that so that's supposed to be like light coverage right like sheer um definitely mattified the shine that i had i don't know i don't know it feels dry. So now let's take a little sponge out. So the white side is for medium coverage and the beige side is for full coverage. They both look like they're the same. Does this look different? Both of those colors look the same. There's not a white side and a beige side. Am I losing my mind? Use the white side of the included sponge and use the beige side. Okay, both sides look the same to me. Am I actually losing my mind? There's, is this white? Okay. They look the same. The colors are the same. Okay, you can feel the difference though. This side feels like a sponge and then this side feels like a velvet kind of thing. But I don't know which one's white. I don't know, you're gonna have to tell me. Okay, so let's go in with the sponge side. I haven't applied makeup with a sponge and I don't even know how long. It looks dark. Okay, so there's the before. Oops. Plenty of scarring. All this is an active breakout, so it's another reason I feel like it's gonna cling and look dry. Ah, it's too dark. It's orangey. <laughs> looks dry. It looks dry to me. I'm sorry it does. I don't know what else to say. Um, and now let's look at this side. There's the before. My skin's not doing the best at the moment. We're gonna use the more velvety feeling side. Kind of feels like that sponge that was going around. Um, it was like a makeup sponge but it was like velvet. Let's try this one. Oh, this color. We can just all talk right now. It is too dark. I didn't match myself you know like I just kind of did a survey and said like I would be like usually light neutral. I don't know about the sponge. I mean, this looks cakey. Like, the coverage is definitely better than the other side. But, like, do you see the dryness right here? It's clinging to texture. I mean, you can definitely see the coverage is better on this side than this side. Maybe I should go in. Also, this is not a reusable sponge, FYI. So, using one side of the sponge versus another for coverage seems gross. That's just me, especially for such an expensive brand. So let's go back over this side with the other side of the sponge. So we're doing the full coverage sponge side now. To kind of blend both sides. I mean, the coverage is not bad for a powder. I mean, it's kind of giving me old school bare minerals vibes, <laughs> if I'm completely honest. When I had oily skin, this was probably great, but like, I'm just surprised this is a new product that came out. Like, who wants matte anymore? Like, some people, I'm sure, if you have oily skin, but like, I feel like glowy and like light coverage and like, no makeup makeup is the thing, right? I mean, you can see this side 
is less red, right? So let's do a little on the forehead with that. I feel like I'm caking on makeup. Like this is what I did in middle school when <laughs> I wore powder, like the Neutrogena powder every single day. The one that was like a mosaic. It definitely doesn't conceal darkness, but for redness, I guess it did something. But like, look how messy that is. Like it's definitely like powdery. And I look different and kind of do like a once over. I just can't see myself actually using this product. Um, I'm gonna say the coverage looks good. Like, look at this difference. It definitely offered coverage, like I'm not gonna lie about that. And it looks matte and it looks natural matte, like from a distance and in the sun, like it looks like not super flat. Um, cause I have no other makeup on right now at all. Do I love it? Not at all. It feels like makeup on my face. It's not undetectable. Like I can feel it. It feels dry. It feels like it's getting sucked into my skin. Like all my scarring here, you can see it's like exaggerating that. Like you can see all those little scars. Um, in here, oh, look at that. Like if you have really smooth skin, that's just a little bit of red. In it that would help i think it'll help add coverage to a lighter coverage foundation um i definitely wouldn't use the sponge um although that gives you the best coverage like maybe if you have a more firm brush um and applied it that way or maybe even like with a beauty blender or that kind of like velvet like face that one <laughs> tati used to use it i don't even know um that kind of thing would probably be good and like i don't think it looks bad like from this distance but like i said when you get close you can see that i have powder on my face i don't like that look like i said if you have smoother skin without so much texture i think it would be nice you can see in here anywhere where i'd have dryness it just isn't it's not for those with dry skin i have dry skin i have acne prone and like you know scarred uneven skin and like it's just not it's a no for me i'm definitely not not a fan unfortunately it is versatile in the sense that you can make it light coverage or fuller i am thankful i got to try it for you guys because i feel like a lot of times products like this only use people who have like really perfect smooth skin and everything looks good um or they use photoshop or something um so i'm glad that someone like me who has textured skin who has dryness and like different imperfections can show you so that's that i hope this is helpful <laughs> Oh, and if you want to sign up for Influencer yourself, it's completely free. Um, my link is down below.